This clip has resurfaced that's about seven years old with Usher at the Howard Stern Show. Listen to what Usher had to say about Diddy in his childhood with Diddy. Moved to New York City and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something called Puffy Flavor Camp. There you go. L.A. Reid's idea. Puffy Flavor Camp. <laughs> to learn Flavor some... Camp. Yeah, Flavor that's camp. what it was called. And you're going to go to Puff Daddy's. He's gonna In pre- the 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Right. And, and I saw it. And it was, <laughs> and it was, but I don't know if I could indulge and understand what I was even looking at. It was, it was pretty wild. It was, so nobody it was tried to, you know, some woman didn't come along. I didn't and, say that. Okay. He was 13, you guys. Like, he was sent there to see the lifestyle at the age of 13. Who in their ever loving mind thought that this would be a great idea? I mean, I know people say, well, it's an opportunity. But come on, 13, unsupervised. I, I didn't say didn't... <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh-huh. and I didn't necessarily understand it. Uh-huh. Biggie Smalls was Biggie there. Biggie Smalls was there. Lil Kim, Craig Mack. All you know, these people all are hanging these, around. All, yeah, man. Faith Evans. Jody C, Mary okay? J. Blosh. They ain't know nothing about this shit. Oh. <laughs> I was having a good time. You know what I mean? Does he have you doing any chores? Are you doing dishes at all? I mean, to keep you humble somewhat? Or are you just like, can you stay up till four in the morning with them and party? I mean, I could. I yeah. actually stayed up longer than them. <laughs> so a lot of, sounds like a lot of things were omitted from Usher's parents. I wonder what Usher's mom has to say about this now. And, what yeah, yeah. Kind of, and do you have money? What's going on? I mean, I had like per diem. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, had, I had like, you know, what like a, a living. life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell <laughs> no. See? You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? You see how quickly Usher said no? He said, hell no. That's what he said. Mm. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this clip. We also can't forget also the video clip where Justin Bieber spends 48 hours with Diddy. Was it the same puffy type of flavor camp? Justin Bieber, I think, is very interesting to me because I almost wonder there's been a lot going on with him. And I almost wonder whether he will also say something about this. This is not a new clip. We've played this before on my channel. But let me know your thoughts in the comments. Like... What is it about people just leaving their kids with these famous folks? I mean, I don't know. Let me know. As soon as you turn 16, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you rock this every time you come right. in LA. Yeah, this will be yours. So, let me oh, tell you, okay. in LA, it's a little dusty, but you know, go get the front shot in. I wonder if he ever got that car from Diddy. Man. Minute. Okay. Okay. All right, so so I'm gonna be driving this yeah, next yeah. year. Yeah, when you get 16, you come down and you gotta, you know, wear your seat. I mean, I'm 15. Thing. You can ride in the passenger seat. I got my permit now that. Wow. I mean, look at how young Justin Bieber was at that time. Not yet. No. All right, no 16. No, 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 Slow right. down. Let's slow down, Justin. Okay. Let's slow down. Okay. One, one step at a time. But yeah, yeah, the keys is yours when you. You know, when you get 16, you're All good right. to go. I'm good to go. Yeah. All right. And then when you get 18, you get the house. You get okay. the mansion. Okay. Yeah. I get the mansion. Then when you get 18, you get the mansion. Hmm. Yeah. So where, where, where are we off to now? Where would you like to go? Um, I mean, wherever you want to go. Where, where are we going? <laughs> we just, so check this out, yo. Um, Justin, he's in, you ever seen the movie 48 Hours? Right now, he's having 48 hours with Diddy, him and his boy. Um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, oh, man. It's just so, <laughs> it's just a weird clip to watch, I think. We, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15-year-old's dream. Um, you know, I, I, I have been given custody of him. You know, he yeah. signed the usher. 
I have been giving custody of him. This whole thing where kids are giving custodies, there's emancipations, there's conservatorships. It's just, I don't know. It's like a thing. It's not stop. It's to allow these young children to work longer hours. It also makes you wonder is like who's actively right now in Hollywood Partic like doing things like this to children that we just don't know about. We know a lot of this is happening in Scientology, which is a huge, you know, one of the biggest tentacles of Hollywood as well. Please note that. But this is still happening in this community, in this industry. I, I had legal guardianship of Usher when, when you know, he, he did his first album. I did yes. Usher's first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next 48 hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we're going to go full, buck full crazy. Buck full crazy. It also makes you wonder, too, about Usher. Because um, Usher had the whole guardianship situation. And when, like, that, that whole guardianship thing is so weird to me. Um, is it because they don't want parents to have a say? For work hours? For what exactly? For access? I'm going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next 48 hours? 48 hours. Let's go. Um, are we gonna, let's just go get some girls. Let's go hang out with some girls. Let's go hang out with some girls. Right? I mean, he's 15. They're minors for Diddy, right? He's a minor. A man after my heart. That's what I'm talking about, kid. That's that th these are just crazy clips, but but again, these are not new clips. This is the industry, it's always been this way. So, I feel like every time there's a new scandal or a scandal, and people want to get into this uproar of something that everybody's been supporting, that it's been out there already. So, is anything really going to change at this point? Um, are there going to be new laws in place? Are people actually going to follow through? Or is this just going to be something that's trending and no changes are going to happen? Something has to happen about this, you know? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm just one person with a little microphone, a headset. That's just speaking my mind. Rabbits out. Bye, guys.